Yo, what's going on, YouTube? Man, I had to think about this for a minute. I almost forgot this fight <laughs> was about to happen. Uh, Robert Easter Jr. Um, versus Richard Comey, okay? Now, if anybody doesn't know about Robert Easter, Robert Easter is fighting out of uh, Toledo, Ohio, 25 years old. You know, um, he's with the, the the band camp, you know. He's uh, all about billions, you know, with Adrian Broner, you know what I'm saying? He's all about business with Adrian Broner. And so uh, this is big for Adrian Broner, man. This is big for Adrian Broner. Uh, I know it's all about Robert Easter and Richard Comey, but this is really big for Adrian Broner. This is really be a big bounce back, especially for him and his uh, promotional uh no company as far as him being a boxing and stuff like that. You know, he gave Robert Easter, you know, a chance. For one one thing, Robert Easter gave himself a chance. But um you know, uh Agent Broner helped his, his you know, his boys out. That's that's was that's good in boxing. You got a lot of brothers helping each other out and stuff like that. You know, people trying to help their people, you know, trying to uh make it and um you know, long story short, I, I believe Robert Easter hit um uh, Broner up on Facebook and stuff like that. And I guess it got to chatting and stuff like that. But anyway, long story short, the man has arrived. Uh, he's at the dance, you know. Now he has to, you know, take care of business. You know, come uh, up this Friday, the ninth, right, September ninth. So um, my opinions, my thoughts on the fight. Excuse me. I really feel as if this is Robert Easter Jr.'s fight to lose. Now, I know Richard Comey supposed to be this dude coming out of Ghana and stuff like that. Uh, Guyana, if I'm saying his name, the, uh, the name of the country, right? country, right? You know, I saw the Vice thing, you know, the, you know about the, all the dudes that came out of Guy, Guyana. And stuff like that, and whatnot. Hey, that's that's all good. You know what I'm saying? He's still down there, and I seen the facilities too. And they, I, I have to be honest, man. They they kind of whack. They get the facilities kind of whack. I know they go up on the beach and training in the morning and stuff like that. I know it's supposed to make them hungry, and stuff like that. But you know, um. Got a question, some of the sparring he's getting down there. Is he is he getting the best sparring? Where is he training at? You know, that's what I want to know. Where is he training at? And this is a man who only has six amateur fights. Okay? Six amateur fights, man. 92% knockout ratio. 92% knockout ratio. 24 wins, 22 wins come in my knockout. But as far as the amateur fights and stuff like that, I mean, think about it. That's only what? How, how many fights is that? 30 fights? And to be honest, from what I've seen, from what I've seen, when he fought for the, um, what, what belt was that? What, what, what belt did he fight for in Vegas last year? The IBF. What was it, Intercontinental light, light, uh, Lightweight title? Or that, I guess that made him the number one mandatory or something like that. When you go, going against Mama uh, Johnoff, you know what I'm saying? When he was going against Mama Johnoff, uh, what was it, Ba? ba, ba I'm, I'm killing his name, Bahadar ba, Mama Johnoff, where his name was, Mama Johnoff. We're just going to roll with that. When he was going uh, against the old boy in Vegas and stuff like that. I saw that on Vice and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And I saw, I, I watched it twice, man. I watched the fight, well, honestly, I watched it like once. And then I had to go back and refresh my memory because I almost forgot to do a video upon this bad boy. Mama Johnoff got tired. The dude was winning the fight, man. You know, on the unofficial scorecards. That's what I meant to do, man. I meant to go back and just check to see what the official scorecards were. But, you know, pretty much every, the guys had um, Mama Johnoff winning. 
as far as what was on the official court scorecards, it really, you know, it doesn't matter, man. Richard Comey, you know, he kept uh, pressing the action. And uh, Mama Johnoff got tired. And he got knocked out, man. It, it was fatigue that beat him. To, to, I mean, you see it, man. It looked like fatigue to beat him. He was tired. Like, he was throwing punches just to keep Richie Comey off of him. Got to that point. I mean, and it was still easy to hit Richard Comey, you know. And on uh, to reiterate that, man, his mama John off dude um, got knocked out by a dude out of Louisiana named... Uh, Mason Menard, I never even heard of this dude. He's a 20, 27 year old um, American guy, um, white guy, if it matters. Came out of nowhere. He, I mean, the dude has a pretty good record, but it looks like it was just padded up in Louisiana. Dude beat this dude. So, and it was late. It was around like uh, in, in the ninth round. You know what I'm saying? It was like in the ninth round. It was just uh, like two weeks ago. You know, it was like two weeks ago. So, I, obviously, this dude has a stamina issue. This Mama Johnoff guy. So, I don't know if you can take much from that win. And then look at Richard Comey's record. Uh, he's fighting a bunch of dudes in in Denmark and uh, Germany. Dudes we ain't never heard of with, like, shady records and stuff like that. And he's fighting in, like, South Africa and Ghana, and that's pretty much where he's been fighting at. You know what I'm saying? He's been fighting a whole bunch of dudes in Ghana, guys that are making their pro debut, or guys who, I mean, think about it, man. Look, 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 hold on, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I, I want, you know, I was going to guess ten, but I just wanted to be right. His first ten knockouts are against guys with no winning records, man. No winning records. He finally got one in his 13th fight against a guy with a winning record. Um, then he, he strained a couple more together, but then again, you know, he was fighting in, in Ghana and the UK. Um... And I think his best win in the UK was against Gary uh, Buckland. Gary Buckland, maybe, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I, I don't know none of these UK guys, man. But uh, credit to Richard Comey. He did win a uh, Commonwealth British uh, lightweight title, man. So but I ain't going to knock him, man. He, You know, he took care of business of what he had to do. He went to Vegas right after he got that Commonwealth uh, belt. Or not too long after he got the Commonwealth belt, he had to defend it. But um, yeah, he beat Mama John off for that number one spot with the IBF. So he, you know, he is is well deserved, man. He's, I mean, he's done a lot for a guy that only has six amateur fights. But as far as skill wise, man, he's he's going to be the, he he doesn't have the boxing skills, man. He doesn't have the boxing skills at all. I'm, I'm telling you, man. Look at him. I know he's. He got heart. That's what's coming out of uh, Ghana. Heart. You know what I'm saying? That's why they got some warriors out, out, out of, coming out of there because they got heart. Uh, national pride is going to be on his sleeve and stuff like that. It's, it's, you know, I'm pretty sure he's going to come into the ring dancing and stuff like that. You know, playing his native music and stuff like that. But, uh Ain't gonna be into, into no comparison to the band camp music that's gonna be playing when uh, he faced Robert Easter. No way, man. No way. Hold on, man. My, my, my thing froze up for some reason, man. But anyway. Man, my computer's acting up. But anyway, man. Okay, yeah, here we go, here we go, okay, yeah, all right. So anyway, as far as the measurements, man, uh, Robert Easter's going to be the taller guy. He's 5'11". Richard Comey's, what, 5'9". Giving up, oh, man, this dude is only giving up two inches in height. He's, he's almost giving up, like, five inches in reach, man. Let me double-check this. Let me double-check this real quick. One second. What? Dude's giving up. Seven inches in reach. 
Okay? Now, I'm not saying Robert Easter can't be hit. You know what I'm saying? Robert can eat, Easter can be touched. Because he likes to work on the inside sometimes. And, you know, sometimes he ain't, you know, uh, all that defensive response. So we have seen him get tatted up quite a bit. He has left the ring with a red red nose, like Rudolph the Red Nose Ring did. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we ain't saying he had been, you know, he has been touched. So Richard Comey got a chance if the brother keeps, you know, keeps it together. But I'm telling you, he was losing that fight against, uh, Mama uh, Johnoff, man. Mama Johnoff was got tired. <laughs> he got tired, I guess, hitting Richard Comey, Comey with clean punches. And this dude wasn't going nowhere. You know what I'm saying? It was pretty much like uh, Lucien Boutte versus uh, Andrade, man. <laughs> that first fight, Lucien Boutte was having so much fun. Tagging Andrade with clean punches, man. He forgot to res- uh, save some for later, and he was burnt out by the twelfth round. Yeah, that, that that's what kind of knockout it was. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you. Just listen to me. This is Robert Easter's fight. If he can just keep his defense together, keep his keep his wit about him like he did against uh uh what uh Mendez. And knock this dude out. He can get this dude. I mean, he. This this is only like a six six round fight, man. This this is not going past six. If Robert Easter keeps it together, it's not going past six. I'm telling you, man. He cannot miss. He cannot miss. Richard Comey. Richard Comey. He he ain't got nothing. He. I mean, the dude. Uh, is basic. The dude just learning boxing. You get what I'm saying? The dude is practically just learning how to box. You get, you get me? You know, the dude just came from Ghana. He just started boxing in 2011, y'all. 2011, he's a baby. He only been in the game for five years. I ain't, I ain't knocking it, you know what I'm saying? I ain't knocking it because, you, know, uh, you know, God bless him. You know? God bless him, man. We have Robert Easter turned pro in 2012, late 2012. But um, I think he has some kind of amateur pedigree. Yeah, he does have an amateur pedigree. Uh, more extensive as amateur pedigree than uh, Richard Comey. Way, way more extensive. He Robert Easter was at least a U.S. Olympic uh, alternate versus... Um, Richard Comey having like just six amateur fights, man. And then he the US uh USA boxing uh national champion back in two thousand twelve. And um yeah, man, that guy's golden gloves. Yeah, yeah, he's a golden gloves, um, you know, uh bronze medalist two times over and then two thousand twelve he was like a uh Olympic alternate and stuff like that. So Robert Easter's solid man. He's solid. He's solid. Got way more skills uh as far as like boxing background and uh Richard Comey. So I might have ran it on a little bit too long. I might have ran it on a little bit too long, but hell, you know, uh thanks for listening, man. Um Richard Comey does have a chance. He has a punch of chance. Dude, I'm telling you, man, the dude got heart, man. He got heart. He's going to keep on coming for it. Robert Easter just got to keep his gloves up, keep his poises about him, stick out that jab, stay long. And trust me, when you see Robert Easter in the ring with Richard Comey, um, you'll see a big size difference. Okay? So y'all let me know what y'all think, all right? I'll catch y'all later. Bye.